370 grams First of all, that throw. Pretty. <laughs> I look like your mom. Like this hair is verging on A-line, I think A-line. <laughs> My kids are in the car listening to Kids Bop. Why did we forget about that? I recently re-watched that. that was I hope she's doing well. You're cute too! Sorry! It is Saturday. It's almost 4 o'clock. I've had a pretty busy day. Just running around, doing a lot of playing. I feel like I, I, I don't do enough playing, so that's what I've been doing all day today. <laughs> also, yeah, can Canada's not getting a ton of sun, you guys. Um, it, you know, this summer, if you are in a place, if you are fortunate enough to be in a place that is experiencing summer, I... I want you dead. But I just randomly got like super overwhelmed, so I, I, did, the, I did the quick fix, which was uh, spend like the last hour laying in bed. That's why I got my pillow propped up back there. If you're wondering how I edit, how I work, <laughs> I work from bed. Was that a sentence? I work from bed. And if you're curious, yeah. It f***s up my sleep like nothing else, but I, I refuse to- I refuse to work vertically, only horizontally. And you know, I, yeah, it's gonna mess up my sl my circadian rhythm, but do you know what? I'm still gonna complain about not getting enough sleep. <laughs> but also, what uh, helped me was taking Ritual's stress relief. As you can see by the bottle, I've been taking this for the past couple of weeks, and I have to say, you- you- <laughs> you know that I've had quite a, a tumultuous year, full of some ups and many downs. I've just come out of another, like, two-week rut. But truly, these made such a difference. I found that with this most recent rut, I was giving myself a lot more grace. And genuinely, I think it's because I've been taking Ritual Stress Relief, which is an all-in-one stress support. It's a once-daily supplement to help reduce stress, promote a positive mood, and support the body's normal cortisol response with first-of-its-kind bio-series technology to provide instant and extended eight-hour 
relief. And it contains not one, not two, but three. That's a trio of clinically studied ingredients to help the body with stress management. I also can't get over the, the vibe, the aesthetic. Like, look, look at them balls. It's got... <laughs> Every morning when I take one of these, it feels like I am entering the multiverse. Like, look at that. In this trio, this triple threat, we've got Shodan Ashwagandha, which is clinically studied to support normal cortisol levels and reduce stress. Next up is Suntheanin and Eltheanin, which is clinically studied to provide quick stress relief and get this, a non-drowsy sense of calm. So like I was just doing, I could get my work done without falling asleep. And to finish out this dynamic trio, we have Saffron as Afron, which is clinically studied to promote a positive mood and reduce stress. And like all ritual products, stress relief is third party tested for heavy metals and microbes. So you can feel even more confident about what you are putting into your body, which is how we should all feel. And if you're starting to run low, don't sweat it because Ritual is subscription based. So before you pop that last pill in your mouth, you've already got a full bottle on your way along with your other Ritual products. And for 25% off your first order of Ritual, make sure to click the link in the description or the pinned comment below. Thanks Ritual, now back to the video. Okay. I need to ice this cake. It's been cooling for a couple of hours. There's a big hunk of meat back here. It's not that heavy. <laughs> I'm making a strawberry cake. There is a, um, or like, strawberry cream. Cream, cr cr what is, berries and cream? Who remembers that? I'm like this like meme archive right now. Like I remember that berries and cream shit. First of all, that lamest shit ever. But I remember that was the first meme. Probably was around like 20 or 21 when that one came around. And um, I didn't get it. I heard about it, I think months after it was a thing. And I was like, oh wow. I'm like fully an adult now. It felt amazing. And now since then, obviously it's been Skibbit, Skibbity, Sigma, Cap, Ohio, Phantom Tax. Like, I don't know any of this shit. I need to weigh one and a half pounds of strawberries. I really hope I have enough. Ooh, that's two pounds. How the hell does this shit work? <laughs> one, one, four pounds, ounces? What? Is that 14 pounds? <gasps> that's like bigger than a baby. I'm pretty sure that's not 14 pounds. This is what I'm looking at right now. We got the cream. <laughs> what the hell's one, one, four point four. Um, 1.13. I'm just gonna go out on a whim and say that that, that is one and a half pounds. I don't think that's five pounds. It is uh, almost 10 o'clock and I have a video that I need to finish editing. Time management. I don't know, I don't know her. There is a, a pretty big chance that I'm going to be up all night tonight. So I need some fuel. And you know, you would think, oh, you're gonna get, you're gonna make something healthy. You're gonna make something healthy, Sean. Something that's gonna give you energy. Ah, uh, quinoa? No, Ch chicken strips. <laughs> Because I am a f***ing toddler, I need chicken strips. I need my chicky dip. So I'm gonna go to Popeyes, get chicken strips. But here's the ca caveat. <laughs> Popeyes has terrible sauces. Like their sauce selection is just awful. You know what? Comment down below what sauce you like eating with your chicken strips. <laughs> 
Let's get the engagement up. But I like sweet and sour sauce. And I don't want to get, like, buy, like, a whole bottle because I never, I don't eat like this normally. Like, normally I will say, I do eat healthy most of the time. But every once in a while, like, tonight I just, I'm craving something greasy. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna go to get the chicken strips, go to A&W, and get onion rings. And I'm gonna say, hey, can I get two uh, sweet and sour sauces with that? I'm going to dip my chicken strips in the sweet and sour sauce. And for onion rings, simple ketchup. Just ketchup. <laughs> and I'll probably just fucking projectile vomit everywhere. I don't give a fuck. Also, I, I need to go because Popeye's closes in an hour. But I feel like I should say, you may notice there's something that's in a new addition to the YouTube channel. I have channel members. Sh sure, I know what you're probably thinking. Ah, here's another another way Sean's trying to get f f money out of me. And that isn't the whole truth. <laughs> I got an email like a couple of weeks ago from YouTube saying, "Hey, you are a part you we YouTube bonus program." I don't know. I don't even know if I'm allowed to be saying this. I don't care though. I I think I am. I never signed any contracts. It said, we'll give you an amount of money if you turn channel members on. And I thought, okay, so this is your, why are you scamming me? I'm being scammed. This is like the new Nigerian prince scam, but for, for YouTubers. But I looked into it a bit more. It seemed pretty legit. And I thought, you know, it, it was a pretty good chunk of change. And listen. I'm trying to get an apartment. I'm trying to get a new car. I'm trying to travel the world. I need money, man. Like, I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> and YouTube is dangling this email in front of my desperate eyes, saying, hey, if you click a couple of buttons, we're gonna give you dollars. The f <laughs> But the deal also was that they would double it if I got to 100 members in, I don't know. <laughs> So if you go down below, right beside the subscribe button, there's a, I think the button is jo says join. You could, I would really appreciate it. I don't, I don't know. I, like it's, it's up to you. I feel like I don't talk about how grateful I am. Whatever. I think that you know. <laughs> but I close my eyes every night thinking of you. And I open them every morning or it's often in the late afternoon thinking of you. But, what the hell but I think what I'm gonna offer with that is early access to videos. I will try to post my videos at least like 24 hours before everyone else gets them to channel members. Although sponsored videos, I don't know about that. I don't know how that's gonna work. I don't think that's gonna work. I, I don't think I can do that with those, I'm sorry. Also, you get custom emojis that you can use. I'm really, I, I've been trying y'all. I've been trying to upload a couple of them, but I'll figure it out. But they, they aren't working. I'm really trying to get freaky. Listen, this is worth the $4.99 a month that you can comment this freaky <laughs> emoji on all of my videos. Like, you can do that if you pay me $4.99 a month. Isn't that cool? And then also I was thinking, and I, I want your, um, input on this because my patreon i post a bonus video each month on to my patreon for people like the, the the second tier and up and i was thinking since there's a lot of people that like don't have patreon or maybe they just like i don't i don't know what if i just posted that video to channel members on youtube as well because it would be cheaper the only difference is that you don't get access to the book club on Patreon. Does that make sense? I, like, in my head, I've been thinking about it for the past couple of days, and I feel like that makes sense, and like, it adds up. So, early access to videos, freaky emoji, <laughs> and a bonus video each month. What I don't want, though, is I don't want people that are, like, signing up for my Patreon and my YouTube members. I don't, that's not fair. Like, I don't want people doing that. So right now, if you join channel members, you there will be an extra video. I'll upload it uh, tomorrow <laughs> to, to the members. Yeah. <laughs>
What do you guys want to listen to? You can't even fucking see me. Hi. What y'all doing? I'm at a red light. I'm doing the wrong turn. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> Something stupid. Thank you for your visit, but we are currently closed. Hi, there. I'm the ball place. How can I help you? Hi. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. you too. Oh my god. I just watched a Tesla drive directly over a curb. Damn, that is really embarrassing. <laughs> How can I help you? Hi, can I just grab like uh, a medium onion ring, two sweet and sour sauces with that? Okay, 90 please. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Should I tell him there's a really big spider on the screen back there? Oh, that's my license. I don't know, I'm just waiting. Thank you so much. Sorry, sometimes you gotta check the bag. I always feel so bad checking the bag after. But sometimes you gotta do it because it's not like you can fucking reverse if there's people behind ya. What are you gonna do? The other day I was went through a drive-thru, they didn't get my order right. They forgot my Chipotle meal. Also, I wanna know. Um, actually I don't care. No, do you, do you play your music while you wait at the drive-thru? Because I never do. I feel like that's just too... No, it's too much! <laughs> because I definitely have friends who play their music while going through the drive-thru and it's they just they just turn it down. I think that because as a teenager I um, worked customer service jobs and like I worked jobs like that and I know how awful it is. So I'm like I just want to make it like as easy as possible every single time I am um, in like I start doing the person's job like when I am eating out at a restaurant which I, start, I start cleaning up the table I say okay everybody gather your plates like they don't need to hear my chapel roam you know like they don't need to it, I don't know unless they may they might like it Wouldn't it be funny if I got into a really bad accident? Sometimes I forget I'm 6'5". Six, 6'7", six, seven, seven actually. Like, have you ever seen that video of the girl? Clearly she's like not allowed to have soda or juice. They <laughs> spill it all over the table and she's like <laughs> Anyways, let me eat my food. Thank you, Father, for the blessings that you are about to bestow upon me. That was disgusting. They did a really poor job of frying the food. I gotta say, both of both establishments. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go throw up. Good morning. Or I guess it's. The afternoon now it's it's 12. I don't understand how people fit. I don't think people do like how Do people have a social life? How do people play and have fun and do things like that and, and they get all their work done They get eight hours of sleep. They I don't I don't think I'll ever Hmm but it's Sunday, September 1st, and I, uh, I really, you know, I was planning on having a fun day. I wanted this vlog to be exciting. 
I uh, wanted to go shopping today. I wanted to go to check out some bookstores and I want, I need clothes. <laughs> I hate all of my clothing. I've been meaning to go shopping for months now. Since summer started coming, I was like, I need some summer clothing. I don't have any, which isn't true. I have, I have a ton. I just don't like any of it, but it's a good thing that I didn't get any because summer passed us by like uh, or passed me by i've been seeing on instagram lots of people have you know euro euro europe summers looks fun but now i'm thinking about fall <laughs> which fall is like a funner time to to buy clothing for and there's this like vintage store that opened a while ago that i've been wanting to go to listen i like swore vintage stores out of my life like I, I I refused to go to them for years now because they've just turned into Like ultra expensive thrift stores, but I've been getting a lot of Instagram reels from from this one thrift store called like day one 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 day one a day multivitamins for women. And I looked at the reviews on Google and I feel like normally vintage stores, the reviews are terrible. Like they're always the same. They're always like, everything is so fucking expensive and so dirty, but they had really good reviews. And I think they've only been open for like a year. So I've been wanting to check them out. So if you've been, if you know what the fuck I'm talking about, I don't even think I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let me know if you recommend it. And maybe in my next vlog, I'll go because today I just, I just don't want to do anything, <laughs> but it's a new month. It's September. I, I woke up today and I looked at my phone and I saw the date and I was like, Holy f school schools in a couple of days. <laughs> I haven't been in school in like two years. I was like, I don't even have back my back to school supplies. What am I gonna do? So I'd like to spend today trying to just get on top of things, get ahead, because I feel like this month is going to be a little bit uh, crazy. I think the main thing is th this. This is the book for my book club, my my cult. This is the scripture of last month, and I am on page one. <laughs> no, Lit Priory, if you're watching, which you probably are, because I think that'd be kind of crazy if you were subscribed to my Patreon and you don't watch my YouTube videos, but whatever. I did start this like two weeks ago and I fucking loved it. It, it is so good, it's incredible, but I just was, I had hectic chaos brain. My head has just been all over the place and this book is kind of a little bit, maybe a tiny bit, it's like surrealism, it's fantastic, but it's kind of a lot. And I got, I think like 80 pages in and I've, I've decided that I need to restart it because it's been quite a while. It's It's been like a week since I've picked it up. Now I did go on my Patreon and I said, hey you guys, I'm, we're gonna push the meeting a couple of days. So also I wasn't getting a ton of responses yet and I, I've been, I've been um, perusing, and it seems some other people in the book club besides me could use a couple extra days to finish this book. I've also been reading several of the responses, do doing my best to avoid spoilers. I haven't gotten any yet, but I've seen multiple people being like, this is my brand new favorite book, which makes me feel so good, especially given last month's book, which was My Heart, my heart is a Chainsaw. How oh, my we all collectively despise that shit. Also, while we're talking about books, I feel like I should, uh, I wanna issue an apology to Julianne because in my last video, I talked about some books that were sent to me from Julianne who uh, at Pantheon Books. Those books were not sent to me by Julianne. I got a package the next day and the, I'll, <laughs> these are the books that were sent to me by Julianne. First up, we have Mina's Matchbox by Yoko Ogawa, which the cover is, the cover is immaculate. She is the same author who wrote The Memory Police, which is a book that I've never read, but I've heard incredible things about. I also got The Hypocrite by Joe Hamia, which I, uh, I was in fact this close to saying Joe Mama, <laughs> but this too, I mean, the cover is just fantastic, like obsessed. And she also sent me Nicked by MJ Anderson, which, So thank you very much, Julianne. I, 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 I apologize. But I am just going to quickly finish making this thumbnail for this video, make some breakfast, and then just, 
just gotta pull myself together a little bit. I'm really dedicated to finishing out this year strong. I, it's uh, this year has just been this all year long, and I'm really I'm I'm trying to end it like that. You know what I mean? I really gotta gird my loins and um, pull myself together. <laughs> it's a few hours later. Just finished this all up, putting everything together. Watch, watch what the fuck I'm about to do. Watch this. You ready? You're not fucking ready for this. Members only. All Channers, Channer members publish. Period. Okay, I do actually want to get this video out today, though, so I think that's enough early acts. <laughs> I also, I do have two channel members, though. Should we shout him out? In the future, I will do... <laughs> I, I won't only give you about three seconds of early access. Oh! <laughs> I did not realize that that was zoomed in. Shout out to Ro, who was my very first channel member. And Mishantan Gunasakar, who joined one day ago. Thank you. I recently realized that that is like my biggest ick of all times. Seeing somebody <laughs> take a bite of food and go, mm. <laughs> because bitch, this is not a play. This is not theater. This is lunch. I always feel like they turn it into like some type of competition, and I'm like, so should I be like dry humping my food to like prove that like I like my food more than you? Or like, what, like what are we doing? Can't we? <laughs> In a matter of hours, that's gonna be poop. <laughs> But it is quite a few hours later. It's almost dark. It's like 7.30 and I'm going to bed. I spent a lot of today cleaning and uh, just trying not to pass away because I've been so tired. I got like, I think I got around three hours of sleep. I really don't remember. The past like 48 hours has felt like a journey. Oh my god, also today I did restart A Tale for the Time Being. I'm on page 40 and I really can't get over how good this book is. I, may, maybe I'll tell you a little bit about what it's about before I go. So it's about two characters, Now and Ruth. And the chapters flip back and forth between Ruth and Now's perspectives. But Now is this freaky weird little 16 year old girl and her parts are written as a diary. It's her diary. And it seems that Now is planning on unfortunately ending her life and she wants to write her final thoughts in this diary. She seems to be a very lonely girl. She doesn't really have anybody to turn to so her plan is to write this diary and then before she ascends, she hasn't explicitly said that she's planning on unaliving herself. <laughs> Sorry I f***ing hate that word. Like what are we doing? Unalive? Unalive? I'm, I'm really quite baffled by that term and why it is being used so often. I don't get it. Is it because it's triggering to say kill? 
He's the killer. Sorry, did I... Um, I just think it's so f***ing stupid. I'm sorry. Every time I hear somebody say unalive, I just... <laughs> uh, I don't know. Also, I recently put this hat in the wash machine, and I think it shrunk, so... I feel like I look like a penis. But in the future, Ruth, who is a writer, finds this diary. So now his plan is to write this diary and then leave it for somebody to find. And Ruth, in the future, is the person who finds it. And she's reading this diary, and as I said, now is... She's a, she's a freak. She's a bit... She's a, she's a freaky little girl. I have to say I've never, ever, ever read, one, a book like this, but I've never read a character like now. I've never even encountered a character like now in any form of media, not in, in a movie or, or a TV show. She's so, like, singular to this book. But Ruth's perspective consists of her kind of trying to decipher the idiosyncrasies of now. I can't express enough how strange this little girl is. <laughs> I'm quite excited to spend the next couple of days, or I suppose the next three days, just being like engulfed by this book because it's it's really good. And if you've read this book or you plan on reading this book, my full thoughts will be on my Patreon, so link is down below. <laughs> but I'm just gonna finish the rest of my piece of cake and then honestly pass the fuck out. <laughs> but yeah, subscribe, well, follow me on Instagram. I think I might delete my Instagram, so maybe don't. <laughs> okay, love you. Bye. Bitch. <laughs>